Hello, what's up YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweet and in this tutorial I want to show you the reasons as to why you can use or you should use the mixer brush tool every single time you're doing your frequency separation within Photoshop. So I want to show you the advantages of using the mixer brush tool as opposed to the lasso tool technique or the lasso tool method of skin retouching when you're using frequency separation and in this tutorial we're just going to be comparing the two results when it comes to retouching when you're using frequency separation using both the mixer brush tool and the lasso tool technique or method so without further ado let's just get started and if at all you find something new that you have learned from this video make it a point that you hit the like button on this video so that youtube can push and recommend this video to many people out there so right now we have two images and i've named them mixer brush tool and lasso tool respectively so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to come and I play my frequency separation action so that we save so much time. And if at all you are interested in learning frequency separation from the very start to the very end, I'm going to link for your video up here so that you can understand and learn frequency separation from the very start to the very end. So right now I'm just going to come to my actions. And if I told you you'd love to purchase or buy my retouching essentials pack, the link is going to be in the description of this video. So make sure that you click on it and purchase my retouching essentials pack. So I'm just going to come and play my 16-bit frequency separation action for both images. I'm just going to be using a radius of 7. So you, you use the radius that blurs out or that starts to blur out the details from your image. I'm just going to hit on OK and I'm going to do the same for my second image in this case. So this is the lasso tool image. I'm just going to delete the black and white layer because it is a little bit distracting. So I'm just going to come and I do the same for my lasso tool image. Play my 16-bit action, same radius. And we are just going to go straight into comparing the two. So right now, I'm just going to come and delete uh, the black and white layer as well. So let me show you the lasso tool method. So I'm just going to come and get the lasso tool. Feathering at 22 pixels because I want the selection on the skin to be finer and I don't want sharp edges on my selection. So I'll put the feathering to 22 pixels and this is the lasso tool. So what I'm going to do basically, I'm going to come and make a selection. So I'm going to open up the frequency passion group and come and make a selection on the low frequency. Remember, every single time you are retouching images using frequency separation. We do it on a low frequency layer. So I'm just going to zoom in slightly and I'm going to make a selection onto the skin. So for the reference point, we're just going to, we are going to be using the forehead area of the model. Just like this. And I'm going to make a selection. So usually, after I have made the selection using the lasso tool, we simply come to filter, then we come back to blur and come to our Gaussian blur here. So right now, this is when we determine the amount of details or how we want the skin to blend and the textures that we want to remain with in our image. So we simply take up the radius up to that point when we feel like we are having a better skin for our subject. So at around 21, that is when I'm getting a better skin texture that looks even natural. So I'm just going to hit OK and I'm going to do the same for my mixer brush so i'm just going to zoom in and i'm going to come and select the low frequency layer come under the brushes and simply right click and get my mixer brush tool then if at all you're using an older version of photoshop simply find your mixer brush tool below here so for your settings i'm just going to run through all this so make sure the hardness is at zero percent then make sure it is a clean brush right here and make sure I clean the brush after each and every stroke is selected the weight is 9, load of 75, the mix at 90, and the flow of 100%. So make sure sample all layers is not checked in this case. And in order to use the mixer brush tool better, I simply turn off the high frequency layer so that I can look at the colors in real time and even them or even the transitions within those colors. You can see the unevenness within the skin tone transitions. I'm just going to come and I'm going to start mixing using our mixer brush tool in those areas 
so let me just come and paint through and try to get an even skin tone or skin transition or even color within the transitions within the skin tone so reduce on the size of my mixer brush tool if at all i'm working on a slightly smaller area just going to come and work so basically we mix colors that are looking the same or similar in our images and we try to harmonize the transitions from the midtones the highlights and the shadows and we get a finer skin tone trans transition remember we are working with the colors in this case because you want to see how the lasso tool is going to work alongside uh, the mixer brush tool and why you should use the mixer brush tool every single time you're trying to retouch your images within photoshop so right now i'm done evening out the transitions within the skin area using our mixer brush tool i'm just going to come and i turn on the texture layer so right now let me show you why you should always use the mixer brush tool so right now look at this image that we have in this case so look at uh, the lasso tool results just look at the forehead area just focus on this very area you can see the before and after for the lasso tool you can see that we still have these patches let me just get a brush tool and i show you what i'm trying to mean so i'm just going to get the brush tool and get any color so you can see these patches in these areas you can see that we have a patch right there we have one right here and we have uneven transitions in this case but when it comes to the mixer brush tool those really disappear just look at this look at those areas i've just circled you still have those patches in those areas but when it comes to the mixer brush tool result and you try and look at the before and after those patches disappear but when it comes to using the lasso tool you can see that those patches still remain and the skin is not blending quite well so that's why i would recommend you first of all use the mixer brush tool and refine your retouching later on by using the lasso tool technique to retouch so combine both but always make sure the mixer brush tool is your better technique or you apply it as a base technique then apply the lasso tool after you have used the mixer brush tool so this has been a tutorial about why you should always use the mixer brush tool every single time you're retouching your images using photoshop and frequency separation in general so if at all you have learned something new from this tutorial make it a point that you hit the like button on this video so that youtube can push and recommend this video to many people out there ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating